for no badge of merit or key to the city and nothing. I just want them to live. This man's heroic actions topping the news tonight at 5.30, saving a woman and her grandson from their burning home. But he says he doesn't want any credit for being a hero. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is live on Detroit's West Side now with more on this heartwarming story. He was in the right place at the right time, right Simon? Yes, he was. Carolyn and Glenda, tragedy avoided thanks to a very humble hero this morning. Now, let me tell you how this all happened. Neighbors say that the flames broke out at a home on the 2500 block of Glen Court. That's near Linwood. Inside that house, a grandmother and her grandson essentially were trapped inside with no way out. Their neighbor, Gino Butler, saw what was going on and sprung into action grabbing a ladder, heading towards the danger. He was able to help them out of the house safely, and then other people also stepped up once they saw what was happening. The grandma and grandson went to the hospital to be checked out. Just as a precaution, they are set to be okay. Now here's what the hero told Action News. I heard him calling for help, you know, so as soon as I seen it, I ran in the back, grabbed a ladder, came over there, positioned it, you know, was telling them to come out, you know. They could barely breathe. They really couldn't see. But, you know, I grabbed them by the arms, you know, to tell them, like, you know, move this way, whatever, this and that. I even asked somebody else to help me that was a little taller. I ain't looking for no badge of merit or key to the city or nothing. I just want them to live. Hats off to Gino for what he did. Meantime, the cause of that fire still under investigation by the Detroit Fire Department. Carolyn, Glenda, back to you. And it looks like that's just who he is. Thank you so much, Simon.